All right, hello everyone and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online, where today we'll be taking on the A Chief Concern quest, which we picked up at the end of the previous episode after doing two other quests, which uh, took a quite a bit. It was kind of a long episode last time. I don't know if this one is going to open up with a, another quest on top of it. This is an interesting little quest chain, but who knows how much further it's going to go. And, uh... So yeah, I'm thinking this might be the end of the chain, considering we're supposed to go and find the person responsible. And hello, person sneaking. And I was hoping, like, well, I still might be able to get through here if I jump. Oh my god, I can, and there's a chest. Oh, that is fortuitous. All right, let's grab this baby. A simple lock, so shouldn't be too bad. That is, if I wasn't awful at this. Oh, there we go. Excellent. Let's see what we got. Ooh, glyph. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, 37 gold. That's a nice little chunk of change. Oh, and I just realized I need my Daedra. Hold on, that guy's still sneaking around. Why is he sneaking? They're usually just kind of standing around. Oh well, take this, Red Sun Brigand. And let's take that. There we go, and he's dead. Or actually, was that a she? It was a she. I'll be darned. Well, hard to tell when people are skulking about. So I'm guessing this is the tower we're uh, heading to. And ooh, aspect rune. Nice. Always, ooh, Rakuta. I still can't use these. Oh, God. I swear, enchanting is... I love crafting, but dear god, enchanting takes so freaking long to level up. It is the biggest pain to level of all of the different crafting systems in this game. Ugh. But, oh well, it's still fun. I make all of my own enchantments. And hello, AoE guy. I was not paying attention to you. Let's hit you there, and you're dead. There we go. Did we... Did you do an AoE attack? Huh. Interesting. Okay, well, let's just loot him. Oh, actually, that was another her. Man, I'm not having luck telling genders today. <laughs> okay, so... We can either destroy this camp... Or head on in. Well, I don't have my... If I had my Atronach... I would just... You know what? I want to kind of destroy the camp, so... I'm going to attack some more of these people. <laughs> let's kill you... There we go, and do that. Drain a little life, and this should kill you. Boop. There we go. Oh, and still not quite enough for the Atronach. Okay, I need to find, like, one more person to kill. So, like, oh, there we go. There are my targets. Hello, Master Mender. Or not Master, you're just a Red Sun Mender. But, yeah, you need to die quickly. I can't let you let you heal people. That would be, that would be terrible. And, oh, oh god, ow, that hurt. <laughs> oh my, you are a pain. Let's just hit you good with a fragment, and you're dead. Lovely. Now I can use my Atronach to ruin these people's day over here. That's entirely what I wanted to do. <laughs> uh, it'd be a waste to use the Atronach on just one or two people. It's fun to use them on more than, you know, two, at least three. You gotta have at least three, and why did I stand here with all those arrows falling on me? Oh, God! Okay. Let's just kill you. And the Atronach to cook care of the rest. Thank you, my friend. Oh, and look, it was a good thing to kill them, because there is a lore book. A Werewolf's Confessions. Uh, I'll have to read that one later. <laughs> that just sounds hilarious. Okay, do I have both my date? No, I lost the uh, Twilight. Uh, Winged Twilight. I still don't know if I like you or not. You're good. It's good to have another Daedra around, but man, she dies so quickly. But okay, where we're we're heading upstairs, I guess, because I didn't see anyone down there. All right. Let's see. Uh, hello. Do I have to kill you? Oh, no, you're a player. Ah, and you're Gargak. Hello. What do we have here? Well, I'm here on behalf of Barkbite Stronghold. Do you know the code of Moloch? It's yeah, a, a little bit. Code, 
but it's the one I live by. Oh, is it? Don't steal, so I aim to conquer. Interesting. Don't kill your kin, and none have died in my attacks. True. Don't attack without cause, but I have more than enough cause. Uh, okay, and why do you have cause to attack your own people? When my father passed, I was to become chief by right. Yes. But then my little brother challenged me for leadership of the stronghold. Two schemers put him up to it, as long as he'd make them hut wife and forge wife. Oh. They knew I had no respect for them. Well, okay, well, losing your challenge doesn't excuse what you've done. And it's true. I mean, that is your people's way. That's a part of the cult of Malik. You know, you, you lost in the you know, whatever competition you had, I'm assuming. Not by my brother's skill. His future oh. forge wife insisted we used matched weapons. Oh. As we fought, I grew lightheaded. My palms burned, and I could barely keep a grip. Okay, okay, well, that that is. Yeah, that's not good. My brother down when my sword shattered. Okay, so and you believe the blade was sabot? Well, of course the blade was sabotaged. No other explanation. The hunt wife poisoned the hilt, and the forge wife delivered a blade that shattered in its first melee. My brother must have known. Heard they died last month. Some sort of fire. A shame they won't see me take my revenge. Isn't there a way to avoid further bloodshed? I don't see how. It's my birthright to rule. And my brother stands in the way. And, well, why will rule over Barkbite Stronghold? Why not here? You do seem to have, you know, an encampment, a tower. And, to be honest, this tower is, even though ruined... Nicer than that crappy hall. What do you mean? Base my mercenaries out of this tower? Yeah, sure. It's a central location, certainly. Yeah. Overlooks a choke point through yeah. all corners of the Valenwood. Exactly. But no. I'm a Remans Bluff orc. Without a mind to work, I'd be nothing next to my brother. Okay, well, Moramont said there was an Imperial mine nearby. A played out Imperial mine, I'd heard. And it's infested with trolls. Clearing Ooh, them out will be no easy task. So you have an army of mercenaries that I also killed a few of. I suppose if there's ore in the mine, I could leave my brother to rot in the stronghold. But I'd need proof. Okay, so we can just kill him or find the proof. I kind of want to go take a look at this mine. So I'll search the mine for you. Or for ore. For ore, yes. And I'll send someone I trust to meet you at the mine. Hey, did his, did his voice just, just change? Word on this. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> But I'll hold my mercenaries back from Remen's Bluff until we find out if there's ore in that mine. Okay. I'll give you my word. Now, is it the word of your voice or the previous guy's voice? Because I'm a little confused here. All right, goodbye. That that was strange. Don't you think that was strange, Tear? You have some glowing hands. That... Huh. All right, granted, I have Daedra, so I really can't, um, talk about weird things here. So, let's go check out this mine. So, meet Gargax ally in the abandoned iron mine. Okay, so where in the hell am I going? Let's look at the map. Oh, just over there. That's not too far. Are these guys? Oh, yeah, yeah, they're still my enemies. Well, let's just kind of avoid them a little bit. <laughs> I'm not too surprised they're still my enemies. I did, you know, kill a few. Oh, a little mini event. Oh, I love these when they pop. Okay, I need to go around these fellas. Oh, we got someone who's taking on the flesh, Atronach. Take this. I'll help. All right, there we go. Yeah, I love these little mini events where these little, like, mini sort of... I don't even know what they're called. I guess they're, like mini world anchors except they're just like a portal but they're fun they're always fun always good strong powerful monsters come out of them there we go <laughs> both me and this other major just keeping this guy pinned down with our crystal fragments oh there we go oh what did i grab that was in there huh i didn't pay enough attention all right well to the mine actually i kind of want to look at what that was hold on inventory i'm intrigued Oh, it was just steel pal drones. Okay, never mind. That's not too impressive. I just saw a green name, but I didn't notice what it was. All right, well, into the mine we go. Hello? Where's this person? Didn't expect to see you again. Oh, you. Oh, hi. <laughs> yeah, about that whole accusing you thing. 
<laughs> I'm glad you came to your senses about Gargak. Well, I, I haven't he made my decision yet. Any ore we find, so here I am. Let's get this over with. All right, let's go. So I guess we just have to like go deep into the mine. To find oh, hello, troll. Okay. Well, first kill troll, then check ore. Alrighty, and ow. Take this. Roll backwards. Can you not fight? You're a freaking orc. Well, you're taking damage there. <laughs> probably, probably shouldn't have led the troll there. Right to where she was. And... That should be the death of you. Oh, no, not quite. There we go. That's the death of you. Lovely. All right. Carry on. Okay, so we can avoid this troll. And just head right over to not being able to avoid this one. Okay, well, you, sir, take this. And I still don't have another Atronach yet. Hmm, I would have thought I would by now. Ooh, rolling away. There we go. All right. These trolls are all quite powerful. Let's do that. Pop another fragment. And... Get, oh, my wing twilight's going to die. I, oh, hey, she's not dead yet. I'm impressed. Okay. Good for you, wing twilight. You normally don't live. <laughs> well, that looks like iron to me. Hello. Oh, so I'm just, I'm pointing to it for her to examine. What do we have here? I'd say it's iron, considering that's what iron deposits look like in the game. Can you? Iron ore. Wow, oh, you were able to tell from there. Go tell Gargak that with this ore, we'll have the finest weapons in Grotwood. No, uh, no, considering Grotwood has high iron ore, I I don't know why you're so impressed with just regular old iron ore. But fair enough. Let's go return to Gargak. And avoid the trolls. No unnecessary fights. Oh, this guy up here has probably respawned, hasn't he? I would not be surprised. No, he didn't. I'll be darned. All right. There we go. Back out to Raymond's Bluff. And we should probably use our horse to get back. It'll just take, an, you know, a little bit off of our time. But still, a little time saved is, well, time saved. I really didn't have anything clever to say there, but why is that guy digging? Oh, hey, they're not enemies with me anymore. They're yellow. So, which means I can still attack them, but they won't attack me. I kind of want to attack them. <laughs> no, 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 let's get off the... Whoa, ooh, rolled there. That was a strange way to get off a horse. All right, and back up to the top of the tower. Let's see here... All right. Oh, hey, Tyr's still up here. He must be AFK. Hello, Gargak. Have you brought me proof? Rakaz says say? you'll have the finest weapons in Gratwood, which I disagree with. But yeah, what the hell? She wouldn't say that lightly. With quality metal, and you change your voice again. This tower as a new home <laughs> and drive my brother's tin profits into the ground. Yeah, I'm an you do that. My word. My quarrel with Reman's bluff ends today. Okay, well, um, fine, that's cool, though it's kind of weird that you're going to be building your own place literally right next door to your brothers, but uh, fair enough, I'll take your money, complete the quest. Bam, and yeah, that is, that is in fact the end of this quest chain, okay, excellent, oh my god, can we jump over there and get up to, no, there's nothing actually up top those steps to worry about, huh, well, fair enough. That is actually going to be the end of this episode, then. We have finished up this quest, and hmm, we ha I don't think we finished up all of them in Gratwood. I know we just got the achievement for doing a, you know, a whole load of quests in Gratwood, but I'm pretty sure there's still some quests I haven't done. I'll have to look into that. Uh, but yeah, I hope you all have enjoyed this episode today, and of course, that you come back for the next. But until then... Thank you for watching, my friends, and as always, have a good one. Did that person just jump off the tower? Okay. <laughs> I guess they didn't want to live here anymore, but fair enough. Bye, everyone.